Hello, Namaskar and a very good afternoon to all the viewers watching NCERT's live interactive session. This is Simran Singh and you have all connected with us through Evidya channel number 7. Besides viewers, we have so many different mediums through which you all can connect with us. And you can also participate in our live sessions by raising your queries, your questions, your feedback and messages in the comment section of our YouTube channel that would be NCERT official. If you are watching this particular live telecast to television, then here is our contact number flashing on your screens. So in case of doubts, feel free to connect with us at 88 zero zero four four zero five five nine either you can also reach out to us at our mail id that is flashing on your screen so once again it is a dth dot class seven at the rate a ciet dot nic dot in so for another half an hour we have a session of english for all class seven students and students what we are going to discuss today is a very special and important topic well the title is a homage to our brave soldiers the brave soldiers who fight at the borders of the nation to defend us so that we all can live in peace at our homes. We are also joined by a guest who will be providing us more insights into the conversation. But before introducing you to the guest for the session, here is an important piece of information regarding G20 presidency for all of you. We are proud of the fact that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country in this year. That's 2023. The nation is deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism. India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding global pragmatic solutions for the well-being of everyone and in doing so manifesting the true spirit of Vasudhev Kutumbakam or should I say the world as one family. Okay, so let's get back to our conversation. Here in the studio, we are joined by Professor Keerthi Kapoor, ma'am. Namaskar, ma'am. Namaskar. We welcome you. Thank you so much. Ma'am is serving at Department of Education in Languages, that is DEL, NCRT, Delhi. And viewers, all your questions, all your queries are most welcome. So without further ado, let's begin our session. So ma'am, as I mentioned, it's a very special topic. Yeah. So please introduce it to all our viewers. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, today I am going to take up the lesson, a homage to our brave, lesson, uh, brave soldiers, class 7. Subject is English and you will find this chapter in your textbook titled Honeycomb. So let us begin with this. Uh, so there are two friends who share their feelings about brave soldiers. They are talking. Now the medium can be anything. It can be via letter, it can be via email, it can be you know on phone or face to face. Yeah. Whereas in our chapter these two friends are sharing their feelings, their emotions uh, about the brave soldiers through letters, letter writing. Okay, They exchange letters and share their feelings of gratitude for the freedom they enjoy because of the sacrifices made by the brave hearts of the country. Yes, many soldiers have laid down their lives for the sake of our nation. They fought many wars so that we could live in peace. Yes, of course. Okay, they have, I mean, so what is our role in that? At least we should pay our respects to them. Yes, for We the should courage. remember them. We should, you know, pay homage to our brave soldiers. That much we should do. And the memorial symbolizes the patriotism of the Indian soldiers. Now my question is, which is this memorial? We are going to talk about one memorial today. Yeah. Can you guess? Well, you must have heard about it Yes. or you must have visited it. I can give you a few hints. Okay. It is in Delhi. Okay. Hmm? In Delhi, it's near India Gate. Okay. So I have told you about the place and the location. Yes. Now, if you can guess, you can tell me. Okay. So if I would have been a student of class 7 residing in Delhi or even in the suburb areas, hmm. I know where it is and that's National War Memorial. Yes, of course, that's right. That's National War Memorial. So let's, you know, know more about it. Yes. National War Memorial, 
The construction of this monument started in April 2018 and was completed in February 2019. It was envisioned and then inaugurated by India's Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji in February 2019. In terms of location and size, it is spread over 40 acres of land near the iconic India Gate. But more importantly, it is a tribute to some of the bravest Indians. So this particular memorial was constructed, was you know built to pay our respects, pay our tribute to our brave soldiers yes. who have laid down their lives for the sake of the country. nation, the country. And ma'am, before proceeding ahead, a small yeah. question. Yeah. Ma'am, as we are discussing about National War Memorial, I would also uh, like you to explain it to our viewers. What are, uh, what is the significance of memorials? Why are they so important? And also the younger generation visiting these places. What all we can infer? Yes, I think National War Memorials are very important in a way that in such places, the names of all the brave soldiers who have laid down their lives, who have sacrificed their lives for the sake of the nation, their names are there. And children should go and visit, see the place and feel it. You see, we do not know who these brave soldiers are yes. otherwise. So therefore these memorials, you know, tell us who these brave soldiers are, in which war did they uh, serve. serve and where, uh, what was their location? So we come to know a lot about it. And the contribution and, towards the nation. Yes, and we feel we can connect in a way. That's I know we way. cannot connect face to face on in any other way. But you know, when you read about such things, when you feel such things, mm. you can appreciate it in of your course, heart of, of hearts. Course. You, I mean, it's it's a way you uh, you know learn to appreciate the sacrifice of others, in a way you learn to pay respects to, to the hard work or to the you know service they have rendered to the nation. So a lot can be learnt. Yes. So therefore memorials are built to remember these soldiers and they are very important. Now we move on to the next segment that is war and peace. Of course we have been talking about you know many soldiers have laid down their lives for the sake of the nation. So that means there was a war. Yes. Hmm? So India had to struggle for its independence from the British for many centuries. This we all know. We ha I mean India became independent in 1947. Post independence our country has had to fight several wars to protect its borders, territorial integrity and its people. And of course today also our soldiers are protecting our borders. Of course. They are there. Okay. And you know, we have to maintain that territorial integrity. So we cannot let anybody else take away our place, our land. And there should be peace within the country. So soldiers are doing a lot of work. Therefore, you know, I mean, they are working a lot. They are sacrificing their lives so that we, common man, can live in peace. So I think we must, we owe a homage to them. Yes. We must. So this makes us wonder who were these brave Indian people? These are the soldiers who have laid, laid down their lives uh, in different wars. They fought to protect our country and sacrifice their lives so that we could lead our lives in peace. peace. And that's a fact. And that's what is happening. Uh, of course, we are also doing some work, but this work is entirely different from the work that they are doing. So they maintain that kind of a uh, environment for us so that we are safe. We live in peace. How many peace? Ah. And we progress. The country progresses. There are researches going on. There are scientists working in different areas. There are doctors working, engineers working. So. People, so that people continue working in these different areas and progress and they are protecting us. And that's a, that's a big thing. Someone is there and we are living in peace. Yes. So brave soldiers, what were their names? How do we come to know about their names? Where did they come from? 
Of course, they belong to our country. But do we know the names of all the soldiers? Whereas in National War Memorial, if you visit that, you will find the names of all the soldiers. They have been etched over there in golden letters. Does anyone remember anything about them? Of course, we do remember, but you know, we must, you know, know it in totality. And also our younger huh. generation needs to know yes. and everyone who comes everyone. by. Everyone, sometimes we refresh our memories yes. if, we has, if we have seen some war, okay? And the younger generation should learn to appreciate that, you know, our soldiers are doing a lot of work for the peace of our country. So therefore, a homage to our brave soldiers. The chapter has been titled, A Homage to Our Brave, brave soldiers. soldiers. So, the next slide, we will, we will be talking about National War Memorial. This is what makes monuments like National War Memorial extremely important so that we should never forget the cost of freedom. You asked me why are the memorials important? Yes. We should never forget the cost of freedom. freedom. Okay, and you know, we should remember the brave soldiers. We should remember their sacrifices. And this is one way of paying homage to them. We are aware always of the pain and horrors of war. Of course, we are aware, you know. Each brick of the memorial is called a tablet and it bears the names of the soldiers who fought for India and made the supreme sacrifice in different wars since 1947 till date. You see, our borders are sometimes get very tense even today. So we know somebody is there to look after us. Therefore, you know, the soldiers who have lost their lives, who have sacrificed their lives, this is the supreme sacrifice that they have made, their names are etched on each tablet. So that's the way, you know, we can spend time in that memorial and it's a beautiful place. It has gardens, it has this information, it has been designed very beautifully. We will, I will be talking about Amar Jwan Jyoti, the obelix. Mm. So we have that we know where uh, you know they lay the wreaths as a mark of respect to the soldiers and ma'am i also believe mm. that everything about it cannot be said in words it's an abstract feeling yes a, a sense of patriotism mm. connection mm. whatever you feel there yes of course so i think uh, one must you know plan to visit that place of course so we continue with our national war memorial india has had to fight many wars to protect itself and the freedom and security we enjoy today is because of the many brave men and women who have served in the Indian Armed Forces over decades. It was heartening to know that our government has recognized the sacrifice of brave soldiers and this memorial was built. Okay, so National War Memorial, you will find that, you know, the soldiers who have received Parambir Chakra, known as PVC, India's highest wartime gallantry medal for the service to the nation. Then we have the names of the soldiers who got MVC, Mahavir Chakra, Kirti Chakra, Veer Chakra and Shaurya Chakra. So names of these soldiers are there, those who have uh, got these awards. Now Parambir Chakra. Let me tell you a little bit about Paramvir Chakra. I will give you a website link of the Ministry of Defense. You must go, I mean, go to that site and read about all the soldiers who have received the gallantry awards, right? So this is the reading task I am giving you. You, you need to read it on your own also. That is how, you know, you connect with what we are discussing over here. So, 21 brave hearts were awarded the Paramvir Chakra, India's highest wartime gallantry medal for their service to the nation. Major Somna Sharma was posthumously awarded India's first PVC in the Battle of Badgam in 1947. These are a few facts that I am sharing with you. Okay, but if you want to go into the details, I will be sharing that website link with you you must go to that site and read in detail about all the awardees. 
Later, some more PVCs were awarded for exceptional gallantry during the India-China conflict in 1962 and India-Pakistan War of 1965. Besides, the PVC was also awarded for service during the UN peacekeeping operations in Congo. In the 1971 war, some of the heroes who were awarded the PVC posthumously, their names are also there. Now, now gallantry awards, just a few examples, I am going to read the names of a few uh, soldiers, uh, Lance Naik Albateka, Flying Officer Nirmal Jeet Singh Sekhu, Second Lieutenant Arun Khetarpal and Major Hoshiar Singh. Their, their bravery is unmatched. Even though they were injured, they kept on fighting for the sake of the nation till the last breath. Some Navy personnel including Captain Mahendra Nath Mulla and uh, was, were also awarded MVC for their exemplary courage and leadership. So now here is the link. Please note down the link and you must visit this site. Gallantry Awards, it's a Government of India site. You will come to know about all the names of all the awardees, whether it is PVC, MVC, uh, Chaurya Chakra or Kirti Chakra. So you will come to know about all the awardees and you can read in detail. So this is the reading task that I am giving you. Next time when we have the next session on this particular chapter, I want you to give me some input about it or you can send that input to us via email. That's welcome. We would love to receive it from you. So there were now, you know, we started with two students who were sharing, you know, their views about uh, National War Memorial, about brave soldiers and they were writing letters to each other. So one of the students writes, it touched my heart and also motivated me, motivated that particular child to serve the nation, to join the army. So they say we were awestruck and humbled by their bravery. So when they read the citation of uh, Lance Naik, uh, Albert Eka, it's given in your textbook also. So the so the response was that you know we were awestruck and humbled by their bravery. I aspire to be courageous like them when I join the army. So it's a kind of a motivation. You can serve the nation by joining the armed forces. Various uh, young minds, they dream of joining Indian yes, army, Indian Defence Yes, I know that. Forces. Yes. And here you know when young children visit such places, they get to know a lot which probably uh, is not shared mm. in any other way. So we must visit or we go to the website to know more about it. Let's continue. So then Amar Jawan Jyoti, again I am talking about the National War Memorial. I could have put more pictures over here, but I you know purposely did not put it. So the children explore on their own. Yes. They go to the website, mm. look at the different pictures that have been you know uh, put there or visit the place on their own. Therefore, only one picture. I, ha I have not pasted other pictures over here. So, Amar Jwan Jyoti, let us, I will share a few things about it. Visit around the National War Memorial. An important installation called Amar Jwan Jyoti that commemorates our soldiers. Now, what is this Amar Jwan Jyoti? So, as the name itself tells us, it is a, it is an immortal flame. An immortal flame that is kept ablaze all through the day and night to revere the sacrifices of our soldiers. Amar Jwan Jyoti, which also displayed a rifle and a helmet, was alighted under the arch of India Gate in January 1972 to commemorate India's victory in the India-Pakistan War in War of 1971. Then Amar Jwan Jyoti in the Obelix. Obelix is the tapering structure which is broad at one end and becomes narrow at the other, other end. Okay. So that structure is called obelisk. obelisk which is surrounded by four chakras. During the inauguration, the Prime Minister lit a new flame to commemorate the fallen heroes. 
Later, the old flame at India Gate was also merged with the new flame at the National War, War Memorial. Memorial. So, this Amar Jwan Jyoti is the eternal flame, flame, you know, to commemorate the sacrifices of our brave, brave soldiers. soldiers. And wreaths have been placed as a mark of respect. Hmm? And every evening there is change of guards over there and they lay the wreaths, they invite the family of a particular mm. soldier and you know they ask them to lay the wreath and they salute the uh, soldiers who have you know sacrificed their lives for the nation. Then Amar Jwan Jyoti, the lighting design is planned in such a way that it transforms the monument's landscape as sunlight changes from dawn to dusk. dusk. See in the morning it looks different afternoon it has a different hue and by the time it is dusk, dusk is the evening time, mm. the sun is also setting and the sun rays ha have turned orange and here you know they have lit the lights, it looks amazing. I mean it's, it's a sight to behold, it's a sight to behold. Uh, it, it truly is a majestic sight fills one with pride for our nation. We all feel proud of our nation and is an overwhelming experience for all of us. You see whosoever is standing over there and you know looking at it, you can hear people saying how beautiful, I could never imagine it is you know how many soldiers have laid down their lives for the sake of our nation. So when you visit and you feel, you start appreciating it from within the heart. The interminable flame is a metaphor for eternal stories of courage and valor. So it's a kind of a metaphor that the, uh, the that as the, the flame will stay forever, the stories of courage and valor will also be remembered forever. 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 So it's a kind of a metaphor. I I looked at it this way. Then let us talk about now four chakras. Hmm. Around a 15 meter tall central obelisk, as you already know that uh, obelisk is a tapering tower hmm. uh, with the eternal flame, the Amar Jwan Jyoti is surrounded by four chakras, Amar Chakra, Virta Chakra, Tyag Chakra and Raksha Chakra. It also houses bronze and stone murals and graphic panels, it is an amazing sight. The murals and the graphic panels depict the scenes from the war and, and it is really nice. Now Amar Chakra, let us know a little bit about these chakras and then we will conclude the session. The innermost circle represents the Amar Chakra also known as the circle of immortality. immortality. This has the obelix the eternal flame, the internal flame, it holds the eternal flame, circle of immortality. The stories of courage and valor are also going to stay with us forever and forever, we can never forget that. The Amar Jwan Jyoti symbolizes the immortality of the spirit of fallen soldiers with the assurance that the nation will never forget their sacrifice. sacrifice. Then Virta Chakra. The second circle is called the Virta Chakra which is also known as the circle of bravery. bravery. There is a covered gallery that exhibits six murals crafted in bronze depicting valiant battle actions of our armed forces. Armed forces. That's what I said, these murals you know depict the actions Scenes from the war. war, from the war. <coughs> Tyag Chakra, the third circle represents the Tyag Chakra also known as the circle of sacrifice. sacrifice. The circular concentric walls of honor symbolize the ancient war formation that is called Chakra view. The walls are covered with granite tablets and individual tablet is solely dedicated to each fallen hero of the post independent India. I, I have mentioned this in the beginning also each tablet is dedicated to a soldier, brave heroes. Brave. Their names are etched in golden letters. Then Raksha Chakra, the outermost 
circle represents the raksha chakra which is also known as the circle of protection in this chakra the row of trees is a reassurance to the citizens of the country about their safety against any any threat whether on the border or within the country each tree represents the soldiers who ensure the territorial integrity of the nation with this we have i think come to the end of this session yes and here is a website link for the national war memorial please note it down you must visit this site also and read about the national war memorial share it with your friends and learn more about it and thank you uh, you have mentioned towards the end and also uh, somewhere in the middle of the text you have <coughs> mentioned about reading yes. so uh, very quickly i would like you to re uh, reflect on the aspect of self reading why is it so important for our students it is it is very crucial especially you know when they come to the middle school to start reading on their own and now that i have given some some idea yeah. what are they going to find in these two sites so they can read and it is not a big reading these are small small stories, stories of courage courage and small uh, pieces yes. there are pictures small yeah. descriptions so if you start reading you will start enjoying and then you will become a self learner that is what is required and all the best for reading okay uh, thank, thank you. you so much ma'am for being thank a part you. of this conversation and shedding light on this important topic and also uh, letting us know the significance of this chapter thank you thank you Thank you to all the viewers for connecting with NCERT in this particular live interactive session of English. Before concluding the session for all of you, here is an important information regarding the availability of NCERT textbooks. It is also flashing on your screen, so you may kindly note down that NCERT textbooks for the academic year 2023 to 2024 are available all across the country. And uh, these books can be purchased from NCERT sales counters that are currently located at New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Kolkata, Bangalore. Bangalore and Guwahati the sales counters will be functional on all the weekdays including gazetted holidays saturdays sundays and the timings would be 9:30 am in the mornings till 6 pm in the evenings if you would like to place an order online for ncert textbooks then it can be done with the help of the website that's flashing on your screens it is www.ncertbooks.ncert.gov.in and you will be able to receive all the books that you placed an order for at your doorstep with no extra charges and also if you want to download the soft copy or the pdf version of ncert text books and it can be done from ncert website uh, diksha e pathshala website and our mobile application to explore more about it we have the website of ncert that is www.ncert.nic.in so uh, viewers that's it for this conversation of english but stay connected as uh, we'll be right back within few minutes with another interesting segment namaskar <laughs>